Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome back to Stray Gods, the role-playing musical, which I would are, I would agree with uh, criticism that the game has received. The role-playing musical takes the role-playing uh, term like more loosely than the video game genres generally define it as. Like, this is closer to a visual novel than a role-playing. Like, if you could... See, it, it is a role-playing game in that you're playing a role. But otherwise, like, the actual game aspect of it is closer to a visual novel um, with musical elements. Although I suppose Stray Gods, the musical visual novel, the visual novel musical... Uh, it doesn't quite roll off the tongue quite as well. Um, it probably would have would have been better if they just called it Stray Gods without the role-playing musical part. Um, let the trailer speak for itself. Let the description speak for itself. Rather than kind of insert something into the title. Um, because I feel as though that's probably... Uh, the criticism that Stray Gods has received that I agree the most with is that it is a musical, but I probably would not define it as role-playing. For now, though, where are we in the story? So we've got Grace over here, uh, who's looking very concerned. Uh, not scared, but concerned. Bonus points if you know the reference. Um... She has been, uh, assen she's essentially been framed, more or less, for the death of Calliope. Calliope has been murdered. Um, and one, somebody did it. We don't know who. Uh, her power has transferred into Grace, who can now encourage people to sing their hearts. Essentially confess to their crimes in song. Which... On one hand, there's the whole cliche of, like, a writer writing about a writer. And now we've got a singer, a, a musical about a singer. But at the very least, it means that essentially all of the music within uh, Stray Gods is diegetic. Which is very, very rare for a musical. Um... Let us go to the address that uh, Pan gave us. Pan came over. He wanted to give us advice. Uh, I decided to stick with my friend, Freddy. Uh, she's my best friend. We sat next to each other in high school. It's the good stuff. Um, but Freddy went off to inform the other two members of the band that I'm still alive. Kaz, I think, is one of them. And I forget the name of the other. But Pan gave us an address for where Calliope was staying in the city. Um, but we're probably going to have to owe him something later. What that means... Um, I think... Uh, I think Freddy labeled him as the god of uh, mischief. I admit, I don't know enough about Greek mythology to properly already know these storylines ahead of time. Um, everything I know from Greek mythology, I learned from Hades and from God of War. the Mostly the newest one, uh, but a little bit from the original series. And by newest one, I mean just God of War. I still haven't played Ragnarok. Oh, Muse is staying in quite the swanky place. Oh, it's open. That's not a good sign. Yeah, yeah, he he gave us the address, but he didn't give us a key. This is Calliope's apartment? I don't know what I was expecting, but not this. Um hello. Oh, sure, Grace, good job. Just announce to the killer that you're here. I better have a look around. Hmm. All right, what are we going to look at? Shall we look at... Are we going to have time to look at everything? The guitar? 
We're terrible detectives if we're expecting to find evidence on a guitar. It's beautiful. How do you even get one of these? My prediction is that we are not going to find out who killed Calliope. So, um, until like the very last scene. And by that, that mean measure, I mean, um, so I'm trying to collect evidence as to who did it or find out who did it. And then there's going to be a trial. And I'm pretty sure that we won't know who did it until the trial. We might get evidence. Uh, we might be able to surmise if we are good enough armchair detectives. Maybe. But then again, like not every modern detective story uh, really allows the armchair detective to succeed. Look at the movie um, Glass Onion for that measure. Like that movie repeatedly basically undermines uh, preconceptions by just basically being like, oh, this this other uh, this other thing that you could not have guessed is actually happening. After Calliope left the audition, where did she go? Did she follow me? Did she come here? You will discover that by looking at the ceiling. Did she paint that? Looks like it belongs in a museum. It belongs in a museum. <laughs> Whatever you say there, Indiana Jones. Andy Warhol, yeah, that makes sense. I wonder how many celebrities she knew. Right. These aren't... Do I inherit these as the new muse? Is that even okay to ask? Yes, they are your drums now. Sorry, I'm slightly paranoid about bugs at the moment. Um, I reached for... This fingernail clipper earlier today. And by earlier today, I mean like 10 minutes ago. Clipped one fingernail... And there was a bug that had decided to take residence within it and crawled out at that moment. Because I'm sure the bug did not appreciate me moving his house. And decided that was a good time to leave. Elvis picture! Uh huh. I want to believe this is just an ironic photo of Elvis and she wasn't like... His muse, or...? Are you going to continue harping on about the these harp. instruments? Of course there's a giant harp. The piano is just labeled instrument. So many instruments in here. Did she play all of them? That is a question. Like, she describes the music as existing within her. Does she bring other people to the room, and then they play the instruments just by her own presence? We're going to look at the go upstairs. Okay, so... That reminds me. Look at the go upstairs uh, reminds me. Um, this game is a game with mo a lot of paths you can go on. And... Every time you play it, you can go down a different path. You can sing a different song. Um, I doubt I'm going to play this a second time because I usually don't have time to play games a second time anyway, so... That's nothing against the game itself. That's just me as a person, as a human being. Um, I will probably watch a bunch of other people on YouTube while doing something else um, to see the paths they go on and see the alternate versions of their songs. But, like, I was watching uh, somebody play through, and by somebody, I mean Alana Pierce... Uh, playing through the last section of the game, where uh, her, Freddy, uh, where Grace, Freddy, and Pan are singing together, and Alana took a very different path than the one that I took. Uh, but there's at one point where uh, Grace says that is she ready to do a solo, and at that point Alana clicked, have everybody sing together, and that looked like it almost kind of created a strange disconnect for the structure of the song, like. Am I ready to do a solo? Everybody sing. Anyway. 
I, I suppose that's it, it just seems like there's there's maybe a few areas where the, the game it doesn't quite present itself as seamlessly as it could be it's still impressive but when you're the first person out the gate doing a, a game where music is affected by choice it's probably not going to be the most perfect but you're going to get an a plus for trying let's look at the go upstairs I did prefer my my own here. path that I took in the pan. Maybe there's something upstairs. Like both versions of the song that were created were pretty good, but I did enjoy the Lost Girls rendition as opposed to the one that Alana Pierce got. Oh man, keep it together, Grace. It's just your average every day. <gasps> there were only three muses, you know, not nine. Oh. Mr. Whenever Baker. They found someone who made something truly masterful or created a new art form, they pass on their idol on. Take a new name. You see, that's how the mortals became confused. They got it wrong. Like they got almost everything about us wrong. What are you doing here? What are you doing sitting here in the dark? What does it look like I'm doing? That lamp is on. Uh, preparing your villainous monologue? I'm grieving. For a dear friend. If I may ask, how did you find this place? And what are you doing here? Pan told me about it. Let's use our charm. I'm looking for help. To save my life, remember? I don't want to yes, die. Yes, I should apologize for that. Our ways must seem strange to you. Like, is that you a bit much to, to apologize. ask? You're the only one who really helped me. It... It wasn't right. What they were doing. It still isn't. I still need help. I can't help you, Grace. I wish I could. You deserve better. Can you tell me about Calliope? Can you tell me about Calliope? I barely knew her, but she seemed... She was a beautiful soul. If troubled. Troubled? Uh, she thought the idols had lost their way. She mm. argued with us, with all of us, that we needed to change. We hadn't spoken in years. I hadn't seen her home before. So there's a little bit of conflict going on. I am... Um, I'd rather not talk about it. Why is this room such a mess? This room is a mess. Did you do this? Not this? It was like this when I got here. And you didn't think that was in the least bit strange? I didn't think much of it. I came here to be reminded of Calliope, not to search through her things. That end, it's, uh, it's cleaner than my place. Also, I should mention that occasionally the camera seems to in camera seems to enjoy the uh, the Mass Effect 2 Miranda angle. So you didn't mess up the room, but someone must have. There could be a clue. No, nothing that I've seen. All this mess, as you put it, is likely the result of her projects. Her projects? When Clive got an idea in her head, she would obsess over it. Sometimes for months, even years. I don't know what she was involved with lately, but this... Uh, for her, this... I mean, when you live, a, like, for hundreds to thousands of years, uh, you can obsess over one project for a long time. Why can't Why you help me? Why can't you help me exactly? Pan said there's no uh, specific rule against it. You've already met Pan? How odd. It's not that I'm forbidden to help you, Grace. It's that you don't want my help. Of course I do! You have to know more than me about almost everything! My help will only make things worse. How is that possible? I've been sentenced to death. And without my help, you stand a chance of avoiding that fate. So you won't help me at all. So let me get this straight. You'll speak up for me, but you won't lift a finger to help. 
You don't want me to do more. You keep saying that, but it doesn't make any sense. From the God of prophecy that- If you didn't want to help, that'd be one thing. But insisting I don't want you to? <laughs> Why not? Like, maybe he realizes that he knows the future, so he knows that if they go down a specific path, that'll work for Grace. But if he's involved in that path... I can't do this. I can see this is hard for you, I really can. But I... I don't understand. You don't know what you're asking. Do I have to beg? For whatever reason you helped me before, my life is still on the line. I, I haven't sung in centuries. According to Pan, I can't force anyone to do anything. Phantom paints from a missing friend Feeding thoughts, thoughts that never end What did I do? What didn't I do? Here she is, only in your head Long gone fights, but they're never dead What did I do? What didn't I do? Calliope, what was she to you? Years, thousands of years Can 
me space for what you will do. Something new. Very well, I'll help. Though I'm uncertain what you expect me to do. Athena called you the god of prophecy, didn't she? Isn't that telling the future? <laughs> prophecy is the last thing you need, Grace. You need somebody to be able to see the past. Um. So ba there's a phrase that I do not like. I almost found myself saying that a week or so ago. And I had to stop myself. Because I don't like it that much. And I don't want to be the one who ever says it for any reason. And that is, this is how we've always done it. I absolutely hate that phrase. Because it does not explain why the thing that we've always done is the better way. It does not argue that it is the better way. In fact, it is almost an implication that the way that was before is not actually a very good way. It's just the way that things have always been done. Um, and that I feel like is the gist of like the Calliope Apollo argument is like the gods are all like, this is how we've always done things. And Calliope is like, guys, guys, we've been around for thousands, thousands of years. Guys, <clears throat> we've got to change. Change is gods. Um, can you explain why you cannot use prophecy to help me? It'd be helpful if you could explain why, exactly. This is all new to me, remember? Yes, of course, that's true. It's so easy to forget that. To receive a prophecy is not simply to be told what might happen, it's to be told what will happen. To know a prophecy is to be bound to its outcome. Only in ignorance is one free to choose. A self-fulfilling prophecy. Nobody wants that. It's like that scene from The Matrix when uh, Neo walks into the room and uh, the Oracle is like, uh, don't worry about the flower pot. And then he spins around and knocks over the flower pot. And she argues, would he still have knocked over the flower pot if she didn't say anything? What? That makes no sense. If you tell me I'm going to fall into a hole... Then you will. No, but I'll just avoid holes. All holes. Any hole. And the act of trying to avoid them is what will make you fall. Worse, prophecies are never crystal clear. Sometimes you won't understand the full meaning until it's too late. Also, his hole analogy uh, kind of reminds me of a old... Um, I think it was Family Matters episode when uh, the son is trying to learn how to drive and the dad is teaching him how to drive and the, te the and he's like look out there's a bread truck and the son's like like slams on the brakes and he's like no there there was nothing and then the dad's like oh there could have been one and then finally when the son is driving by himself he crashes into a bread truck can you help me another way okay is there Anything you can do that isn't prophecy-related? Uh, not directly, but yes, possibly. Come with me. There's someone I'd like you to meet. Oh, so he, he looks like a surfer dude because he is a surfer dude. And yes, his house is messier than Calliope's. This is where you live? Oh, yes, sometimes. And, and excuse the mess, I, I don't get many visitors. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I, I have three brothers. I've seen a mess or two. Well, you're being kind. I admit I hadn't realized how bad it was. You said I'm here to meet someone? Ah, yes. Um, do you know what an oracle is? I was just discussing an oracle. 
A uh, fortune teller? Someone who tells the future? Not quite. They serve as a channel of sorts for my powers. This allows them to offer insight, knowledge they have no earthly means to possess. There's always been one. Over the ages, no matter where I go, one manages to find me. Meaning there's an oracle here? There is. What? <laughs> I have brought someone to see you. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm not a magic fortune cookie. Is that what Paul told you? Oracle's my handle. And even if I was the Oracle, I'm certainly not his Oracle. It's a pleasure to meet you, Oracle. Hmm. Well, she's got better manners than the last lady you brought here. But at least that one had a casserole. Do you have a casserole? Uh, no. No, I, I came casserole less. Yeah, that's what I thought. Look, I'm sure he told you all sorts of nonsense. I use computers. I'm a hacker. That's it! I ask very little of you, Oracle. Your help here would be appreciated. Fine. Look at your abs in a twist. Okay, so Paul brought you all this way just to see little old me. What's on your mind, sis? Well... You keep calling him Paul. You keep saying Paul. Do you mean Apollo? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Apollo, if that is his real name, says he's a god of prophecy, blah, 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 blah. But you don't believe him. <laughs> believe him? Uh, who'd believe that? <laughs> it's super weird, but he's a decent guy, so he can be Apollo if he wants, but I just can't call him that. That's fair. You're good with computers? So you're an oracle who uses the internet, huh? Like I said, it's my handle, and yeah. It's a sweet setup, huh? Some of it's even legit. The parts I purchased were her, presumably. Bargain for fair and square. And I keep telling you to get me an ethernet cable. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> This is the 21st century, Paul, and your 21st century Oracle needs her some download speed, okay? Um... You live here? Do you live here? I crash here, yeah. Better here than home. She showed up one day, as the Oracles do. Naturally, she is welcome to stay as long as she likes. See the way he talks? I thought maybe he was a creep at first, but nah. Paul's I right. <laughs> The highest of praise. He'd be more all right if he did some laundry. So, is she actually an oracle as Apollo thinks she is? Or is she just a really good hacker? And Apollo doesn't understand technology. Also, I keep thinking of uh, the Oracle from the DC Universe, who also is a computer whiz who hacks the system in order to get more information. Tell me, is Apollo always so... Incredibly emo? Like a sack stuffed with sad? <laughs> I am standing right here. Don't get me wrong. It grows on you after a while. Grace, surely this is not what you came for. Yes. Oh, I don't know. It's cute watching you get all flustered. Well, <laughs> it's hardly productive, is it? See, there you go again. <laughs> Ugh, get a room. A different room. Very specific. All right. Let me, I'm looking we need for some information, information about someone named Calliope. Can you help? Oh, the lady from that apartment I sent Paul to. Yeah, I've been checking that out. What did I tell you? I looked it up. <laughs> you could do the same if you learned to use a computer. Here, 
Hold up, I'll show you. There. The apartment was originally purchased two years ago by a holding company, Core with a K Enterprises. Oh. Oh, I see. That would be Persephone. Is that a surprise that Persephone owns the apartment that Calliope is staying? You weren't expecting that? I wasn't aware Persephone and Calliope were friendly. Certainly not friendly enough for Persephone to give Calliope an apartment. The good news is that Persephone is easy to find. I can take you to her if you like. The bad news is uh, Persephone's reception might not be so warm. Will there be trouble? I'm thinking she won't be happy to see me. Persephone is rarely happy to see anyone. Great! We're all done now. Thank you for your help, Oracle. Please, do try to get out from behind your screens at least once today. Perhaps go for a walk. Yeah, yeah, sure, will do. Leave a tip on your way out. Hmm. Alright, let's take a look at the journal, see how these pages have been updated. Nothing new on Freddy. Let's see. It appears Calliope was staying at an apartment, one that belongs to Persephone of all people, and it's actually not too far from mine. Could that be where Calliope was tacked? Am I crazy for agreeing? Okay. So we actually already knew that before? Calliope was one of the three idols called the Muses, the last one still living, according to Apollo. Um, now, <sighs> Athena had already mentioned that uh, with Grace's death, that would be the end of the line. Once they were his constant comp they were his constant companions. But in the last few years, they grew apart. Calliope was angry at how the idols had lost their way and apparently argued with everyone a lot. Which doesn't sound like the Calliope I met at all. If it's true, it means she wasn't the most popular idol, and there may be more suspects than I imagined. I visited Calliope's apartment. It was gorgeous, filled with every musical instrument you could imagine, and memorabilia dating back, oh, I don't know, a hundred years or more. She had everything she could ever possibly want or need at her fingertips. Is this what it means to be a muse? All right, we got Hermes, Aphrodite, Apollo. I went to Calliope's apartment, and who should I find there? Apollo! Sitting in the dark, in a room that had obviously been turned inside out by somebody searching for something. He says he didn't do it, and that he was there mourning Calliope. They were close for a long time, it seems, but a rift began between them a couple years ago that never quite healed. Was it the kind of rift that might lead to her murder? For one, he keeps saying that helping me will do more harm than good. What does that even mean? According to him, his prophecies lock you into a f your fate as soon as you hear them. Which could be good or bad, I guess. Apparently, they're not always 100% clear, so maybe he's right. Maybe it's better not to know. Thankfully, Apollo did have another way to help me. Namely, through a teenage computer whiz who lives in his dump of a home. The Oracle. Or just Oracle, as she insists that's just her handle. She found out that Calliope's apartment was owned by Persephone, so we're off to her nightclub to ask why. So technically, we already knew that earlier on. Over, like when we were talking to Pan. Uh, we got nothing new on Athena. According to the Oracle, Persephone owns the apartment Calliope was living in, so they knew each other? They were close? I guess she's next on my list of idols to talk to, though I have a feeling she's not going to be very happy to see me. Nope. Um, and I also have a feeling that this game is kind of setting itself up for more duets, more trios. I was hoping that there was a fancier way to say trio, like, you're not a pair, you're a duet. Uh, but no, it's just trio. Maybe the word trio has some simply been devalued, like, it's not a buddy cop movie, it's a duet. Like, it doesn't have the same ring to it. But a trio... That works for any three-person group of any kind. Let's go see Persephone at her nightclub, The Underworld. 
which has a back alley door. Welcome to the underworld. Wow. How have I never She's no longer place? the queen of the underworld, so ah, there's Pan. The so now she's While queen of the underworld. Draw a crowd every night. Don't ask me how. Here in the underworld, idols can be Who is that other guy? And here's Hermes. Even if they don't look human. Is it not your kind of place? Do you come here often? Oh, no. 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 Uh, Persephone and I aren't friends. Is she friends with anyone? Not many. No. Except Calliope, apparently. If we're to find Persephone in all this, we'll need to split up. Have you considered what you'll say to her? I'll figure something out. I can be persuasive when I want to be. I'm aware. I'm just not sure even you could sweet talk Persephone. <laughs> Is that a challenge? <laughs> it's the truth. If Persephone really was friends with Calliope, talking to you might be the last thing she wants. You need to be prepared to use your powers, as you did with me. Come find me in the crown if you need anything. Otherwise, be careful, Grace. I expect um, Persephone to give uh, Grace the cold shoulder, and then Grace goes on stage and starts performing, which causes everybody to get pulled in. Have we met Eros? We have not. Let's talk to Hermes again. Hermes, how's it going? Whoa, you're here. I mean, you gotta be somewhere, but you're here. Hello, Hermes. <laughs> sorry about running off on you back at the thing. Didn't really have a choice, but eh, sorry anyway. So what's your story? You're not much like the other idols, are you? No? I haven't been an idol very long. Maybe like a year? I lost track. So I'm not the one to ask about the idol stuff. It's all cool, but mostly I do whatever Athena asks. Athena says one day I'll sit on the chorus. <laughs> That'll be sick. Can you imagine me in charge? Why not? Why not? Maybe you can shake some dust off the other idols. Yeah, I don't know. That's a lot of dust. <laughs> You're right about that. I don't think Athena would let me clean anything anyway. She won't even let me touch her spear. Can't even believe that. Uh, how did you become an idol? You've only been an idol for a year? How did that happen? Mm, probably the same way it did with you. Oh, the old Hermes died in your arms and then they accused you of his murder? No. Well, yes. I mean, no, not like that. But yeah, I was there when he died. We were friends, and I was having trouble at home, and he helped me out. I miss him. Hmm. Why do you call yourself Hermes? I mean, I don't call myself Calliope. You might eventually. Uh, I doubt it. Most idols do. Not everyone, though, so I don't know, maybe not you. How did you know Calliope died? You showed when up Calliope pretty died, quickly. You were right there, within moments. How did you know? I told you, I got word, so I came. So but then how did, how did Athena you get word? know? Look, when an idol dies, I have to be there. So I just know, it's a Hermes thing. To take the body, clean up the blood, that sort of thing? Oh, that too, yeah. But that's on Athena's orders. To keep the idol secret? Sure. Can you imagine the questions? I don't know how we hide so well as it is. This is probably a stupid question, but... Do you know who might have killed Calliope? Oh, why would I know anything about that? When you came to... To the apartment... It seemed like you knew her. Oh no, I only met her once. She didn't live with the rest of the idols or hang out with us very much. She seemed nice, though. Angry, maybe. But I don't know who'd want to hurt her. She seemed nice, though angry. What do you mean by angry? 
How was she angry? Pissed off. But more because she cared about everyone too much not to be. I don't know, that's what I thought anyhow. I'm probably wrong. Do you know if Persephone is here? I need to talk to her. <laughs> oh, you're serious. Why would you want to talk to Persephone? Nobody ever <laughs> wants that. One time, I laughed too loud near her, and she threatened to ban me from the club. I don't want to be banned. I like it here. Is Persephone really that bad? Why do the idols put up with her? We're like family, and Persephone is that really mean aunt that nobody wants to invite. Uh, hey, don't tell her I said that. She keeps the list. It's a thing. Okay, okay, forget I asked. Whew! Man, just the thought of talking to Persephone gives me goosebumps. Blech. All right, Hermes. I'll see you around. Good talk. If you die, then for sure. But, uh, don't die. Up, oh, thanks, Hermes. Uh, let's talk to Pan. How's Pan been handling himself? Eh. Are you busy hitting on As that fellow? As I live and breathe, if it isn't our dear muse. Hi, Pam. Tell me, have you decided to leave your troubles behind and join us in the land of shadows and revelry? Uh... I should thank you for the address. It's what led me here. No need to thank me. You'll owe me, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you managed to stir the sun god from his oh-so-tiresome gloom, I cannot imagine. Nicely done. Apollo keeps saying he'll make everything worse, but he's been helpful. That is his way, to be helpful. Until you turn into a tree. I don't know what that means. Let us hope you never do. I vaguely know enough about uh, the mythology to have an idea of what that is. What are you doing here? I'm guessing it's a total coincidence that I'm running into you here. No, it, it, it must probably be. is. The alternative would be that I knew a great many things ahead of time. Well, did you? Do I look like an oracle? I am here to listen to thrilling music and meet delicious people. My tastes are simple. Uh-huh. Speaking of simple tastes, my glass is empty again. The service here is appalling. You come to this club I often? I assume you're a regular at this club. And why would you assume that, dear Grace? <laughs> the horns, the... you... Do you know Persephone well? There is no knowing Persephone well. She won't have it. Not anymore. Not mm. anymore? Long ago, we were all very different. Over the span of ages, however, even mountains erode. How can I trust you? The things you say, the things you don't say. You don't make yourself seem trustworthy, you know that? Trust is for the weak and the penniless. Still not helping. <laughs> Why, Grace? Are you assuming that I, Pan, am some sort of scoundrel? Yes. Hoping, maybe. You don't say. At least you're not boring. Grace, I knew there was a reason I liked you. You must know why I'm here, right? Let me guess. You seek our sweet-natured proprietress. Can you help me find her? <laughs> Earlier I wasn't good enough, but now, now, I see how it is. By all means, I'd love to tell Persephone that the source of her rage has intruded on her domain. What if I asked nicely? What if I asked you really nicely and batted my eyelashes like so? 
<laughs> oh no. Not my one true weakness. I could also flatter you, tell you how shiny your horns are. All right, all right. <laughs> Never let it be said that flattery gets one nowhere. Let me know when you're ready and I'll take you to Persephone. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Do keep that in mind after you've spoken to her. All right, so we have a route to Persephone. Let's still talk to Eros because we don't know him. Oh, hey, you're the new muse, aren't you? Um, I guess I am, yeah. Aphrodite mentioned it. Didn't figure I'd see you here, though. Oh, excuse the manners. Name's Eros, god of sex. There's a god of sex? Wait, did you, did you say that you, you're the god of sex? Desire, really. Sensuality. Attraction. Why? Were you expecting a chubby little flying baby with a bow and arrow? Uh, I, I wasn't... I actually preferred Cupid, but man had to be the trickster. Spread all those stupid stories. I'm... sorry? <laughs> Why? It's not your fault. Just another grudge I get to carry around forever. Sir, you're talking very quietly in a club, in a nightclub setting. You're going to need to speak up a little bit. You know Aphrodite, right? I only met her the once. Sure, she's my mother. You know how it is. How would I know? No here, remember? Oh, right, right. Yeah, sorry. I wasn't thinking. But you hear a lot of idols talk about each other like that. You know, mother, brother, sister, grandfather. None of us are actually related. We just played a family for so many centuries. It May as well be true. Hmm. So Aphrodite is your... So Aphrodite is your mother, but not really. That's right. A long time ago, she took care of me when I needed taken care of. The mortals, they just assumed. These days, well, it's not like that anymore. We're not as invulnerable as we used to be. Least of all, Aphrodite. What are you doing here? The god of sex at a club. Looking for someone? Hmm, once I might have, sure. Now I'm just here to see it happen. See what happen? Sex! Look out there. See all these people. The hope, the anticipation, the connections, they bounce off each other. <laughs> to me, it's like lightning. And you enjoy that? I used to make it happen, you know. Mortals once begged me to make it happen, to inspire true love. But now, now I only inspire sex. Not the same thing. It's just as well. People should find true love the hard way. They'll value it more. Are you okay? You seem a little distracted. Is everything okay? Of course it is. Sure. Hmm, that obvious, huh? Yes! Truth is, I don't come here that often. No, it's hard to get away. I just... Nope. Never mind. I'm willing to listen if you need to talk. I appreciate that. I'll be dead in Maybe like ten time. days, so whatever you tell me... Look... I should go. I'll see you around. Count on it. Apollo! How are you doing? Enjoying the club? I thought this would be easier. But it's as if Persephone left instructions to thwart me. Every staff member I approach screams and runs <laughs> off. I hope your search has been more successful. You don't come here often, I'm guessing? Never. I'm sure Persephone only sent the membership as a formality. I doubt she thought I'd ever use it. Don't you ever have fun? No drinking or dancing in Apollo land? 
That's his what? Apollo Creed. Oh, I had the muses to keep me company. I'm a muse now. I can keep you company. Nothing would make me happier. But you do have a predicament to solve first. This is true. I do want to not die. Can you tell me about it Persephone? It might help if I knew more about Persephone. It couldn't hurt. What would you like to know, exactly? Does she like casserole? I thought she was just mad at me, but everyone seems afraid of Persephone. Ah, uh, noticed that, did you? Persephone is angry with everyone, and has been for a very long time. She has her reasons. I can't say she doesn't, but... She does not let go of a grudge. A thousand years could pass, and Persephone will remember what you did like it was yesterday. What's Persephone's story? Her name rings a bell, but I don't... No doubt you've heard the tale of how Hades, Lord of the Underworld, kidnapped a young sweet goddess and made her his wife. Uh, yeah, that's part of <laughs> that the plot of the video game Hades. Persephone. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Her mother, Demeter, was so enraged, she blanketed the world in ice, rendering it barren and infertile. Zeus was forced to act. He decreed that Persephone would be shared between Demeter and Hades, and thus the matter was resolved. That doesn't seem like a good resolution well, for uh, Persephone. That's her story, as the mortals tell it. But what is... So tell me, how much of Persephone's legend is true? Well, let's see. Um, Hades did kidnap Persephone. That certainly did happen. The idols almost went to war over it until Zeus intervened and ordered Hades and Persephone to wed. That uh, quieted things. At least until Persephone killed Hades. Whoa. As I understand it, Hades was not kind to her. I'd like to say I mean, he, when a God. relationship begins with Zeus kidnapping, the idols were like only in Beauty and the Beast Persephone does it been. result well. That would be a lie. Persephone was punished for the murder. The underworld taken from her. And we all stood by and let it happen. She has never forgiven us. And honestly, I can't blame her. If I were her, I'd be mad at you all too. Then you understand why things are difficult between us. Wait, Persephone killed another idol. Oh, long time ago, yeah. I'm sure the rules were different. What about all of Athena's rules? Wouldn't Persephone have been, I don't know. Executed? The murder of Hades is probably why we now have that rule. Back then, we heard Persephone had usurped Hades' throne, but we couldn't believe it. It just wasn't done. Now, of course, I look back and think we should have seen it coming. Oh, the benefit of hindsight. Why didn't you see it coming? You're the god of prophecy. When I look, I learned long ago not to. So what happened to Persephone after... The murder? She survived, like the rest of us. She got older, and when we came to the new world... I think she would have left us if it was allowed. It isn't. So instead she did as she pleased. She started a cult, became a crime boss. Oh, what? It was after her last transition, but honestly, <laughs> I have no insight into anything Persephone does these days. I found someone who will bring me to Persephone. Finally, I'll be right behind you. You're coming with me? But I thought... She seems even angrier with you than she is with me. I... I might be able to mediate. <sighs> we'll see, I guess. So do I go to Apollo again? Or do I just... Are we not going to see Persephone? I, I, I thought you found a way to her. I should get going. Persephone awaits. Right behind you. Okay, let's go. Oh, she's just right there at the bar.
If you're angry with anyone, Persephone, be angry with me. It was I who... I will deal with you later. I was willing to leave you be, Grace. What a nice Dutch to angle your guilt to emphasize uh, Persephone's position. Here you are in my domain, uninvited. Why? Are you here to beg for mercy? Are you here to challenge me? Should I be afraid? I'm not trying to start a fight. Far from it. I came here hoping you could help me. Help you? <laughs> Perhaps you could help me instead. I'd like to understand a few things. Do you really expect us to believe that Calliope chose you? What's the real story? Did you stumble across her as she lay dying and desperate? Are you an accident? Did you learn what she was? Did you torture her, hold her at the point of death until she agreed to hand over her Eidolon? Persephone, this isn't... You have every reason to try to prove your innocence, Grace. But I have no reason to help you. Well then. Calliope lived at your apartment. You knew Calliope. We all knew Calliope. She was staying at your apartment. You knew her. Better than I or anyone else suspected. Are you implying that I had something to do with her death? Prove you didn't. That's how idols work, isn't it? <laughs> you hear that? You're in my house, little muse. You want answers? Fight for them! Mm. Combat by song. Fight! A lost little girl. You shouldn't have come here. And I sure ain't in the mood to make new friends. Go home, little girl. The shadows draw near. Let's see how far she bends, we all know how this ends. Hope everyone's having a great night. I guess I'm this evening's sacrifice. But I'll see what I can do. You deserve a good show. Big hand for your usual MC. She's planned a brutal takedown just for me. Hopefully, I'll last a couple rounds. You deserve a good show. I won't let you down. My, my, we caught a butterfly. Such a delicate thing. What a find. I hope she doesn't mind when we pull off her wings. Maybe you don't know. Hands all like I'm innocent. No, you Don't mind me. No point of view, kid. People have paid. We have seen a whole lot of bands. I know what a song second hand. Who else you'd ignore? My, my. In the 
dark and fight your endless war. She just won't die. Certain you can't be surprised anymore. Come on, kids, scram. You know, there's someone else that I speak for. Still don't know who I am. Crushed all my dreams till a muse. I just want Calliope back. You overcame so much on your own. You should be praised. I'm done throwing stones. Please believe me. Do you see me bowing down to you, my queen? Underworld, I hereby concede. You wanted blood, well, there's no more to bleed. Your queen's above that. Now I get that. But can you help Persephone? Help a lost. <laughs> well, you won. So it appears. Pan's expression. If what you told the chorus is true, why do you think Calliope came to you that night? Maybe she thought I could help her. She must have been nearby when whatever happened, happened. I see. All right, Grace. Come with me. Calliope came to me years ago. She'd grown tired of arguing with the idols, tired of being branded a troublemaker. She couldn't watch the idols wither away without a fight. I knew how she felt, so I gave her the apartment. How well did you know her? So you must know better than anyone what she's been up to. Not exactly. Calliope and I haven't spoken for at least two years. After I heard the news, I went to the apartment and turned it upside down. Okay, so Persephone the was the one who oh, went through you. the apartment. I didn't find anything. Nothing to say what she had been involved with. I still think it's Athena. Into, or who she I, might though I feel like that's with. too obvious. Like, Athena's lack of empathy in the situation and her cold diligence just makes her too obvious of a suspect. And if it turns out that she is the one, then I feel like that might be too obvious of a mystery. I don't know. That sounds suspicious. I hoped I could find evidence, something that made sense. But no, it was only you. I made sense? At the time, but now that I've seen how clever you are, I'm beginning to wonder if Calliope didn't choose you after all. If it wasn't Grace, that means someone else was behind Calliope's death. Someone who could keep their involvement hidden. One of us. Does it have to be an idol? You thought I killed Calliope. Couldn't it have been some other mortal? Well, if Despite another mortal look, killing her, it's then... It's a simple matter to kill an idol. 
they would have acquired the idol on. Done it. If another mortal killed her, they somehow escaped detection. We found nothing, no evidence of a battle. You looked? Of course we looked. What do you think was happening while you waited? If Calliope was attacked elsewhere, even magic revealed no trace of it. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say magic? You can battle me through a song in a world of your own creation. And yet magic is beyond belief? Yes. Well, sure, I just thought... We have our powers just as you have yours. I can grow a field of corn like nobody's business. Some would say our powers are also magic, but... True magic is a different and older power. Hecate's domain. Who's Hecate? And it was of no use here. We shouldn't rule it out. We haven't tried everything yet. Did Calliope have any enemies? The way you talk about her, she must have. What? What am I missing? Well, Calliope had a way of making people angry. She could be... argumentative. Yes, but enough to make enemies who wanted her dead? Not that you or I know of, apparently, but that doesn't mean they didn't exist. What about Athena? She seemed awfully insistent on declaring me guilty, don't you think? Athena? <laughs> no, Athena follows the rules. Well... Athena has one goal, and one goal only. To protect the idols. And that included Calliope. But... Eventually drive us all mad with her vigilance, but break her own rules? I don't see it. But here's the thing. That, I feel, is almost more guilty for Athena. Like... If her goal is to protect the idols and Calliope's goal is to change the system, then ultimately protecting the idols means killing Calliope. Couldn't we go to Athena with this? If you've changed your minds and you're both part of the chorus. Athena would be sympathetic, but the die has been cast. She won't go back on the edict, not without clear evidence. Oh, now you want evidence. She acted on the information <laughs> she had. If we want to sway her, we need something better. What about Pan? He showed up at my place out of nowhere, right after I left the chorus. He did what? <laughs> I have to wonder what his angle is. He has one, that's for certain. Though I've never thought of him as a killer. It would be too... messy. Still, we should consider the idea. For him to show up so quickly is... odd. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You know the idols. Don't you have any ideas? I told you I wouldn't be of much help, Grace. Did you now? Mm, that's unsurprising. When are you ever of help to anyone but yourself? Says the woman who forced Grace to challenge her rather than answer a simple question. Calliope died, Apollo. Calliope, who came with us all the way from the old world. You think I don't know that? Are you forgetting what the muse has meant to me? Please, both of you. None of this will help Calliope. I know you both miss her. I know you cared about her, but she's not completely gone. A piece of her is in me. She came to me for help, and I don't want to die any more than she did. Oh, another song. Calliope, I'm listening now. Tell us what and you would do. To A bit of an unplanned song for Grace. Calliope, kind of brought about by her rage. Fire, one match did you strike that consumed. What she have done to earn such a fate? You are blinded. God of the sun hides from his own eyes. What would you know about fate? You say that you knew her. She was family to. 
to us and you don't hesitate to accuse her oh queen without a throne go bitter with fury not everyone seeks to betray you stop this That was a sharp turn. Yes, there's more to seek. Apollo, your help is not needed here. Go ahead and abandon another muse. How could you throw that gauntlet at me? Could your heart shrivel any further? You abandoned me to a, a terrible, terrible fate. fate. You replay your injuries it's till it's too late. late. You know how far I've been before I, I snapped. This, this is, is not about you. you. Enough! This helps no one. There he is, God of the Sun. Apollo, for my sake, take a deep breath. I need your help, not your anger. These old wounds, they distract and blind you. You can't see yourselves. He doesn't know what's important. And you do. Follow him or stay. Now that Apollo isn't sucking all the oxygen out of the room, perhaps we can get somewhere. Just as well. He said from the start that he didn't want to help, that he'd just make things worse. Well, that's what you get when you live in a world of prophecies and riddles. Apollo will forever chase his own tail. But he brought you to me, so that's something. I'll admit, the problem you present is a sticky one. If an idol is behind Calliope's death, they're clever. I need time to formulate a plan. So you're going to help me? You've decided to help me then? I wasn't sure you would. I've already admitted that Calliope might actually have chosen you. Don't push your luck. Oh, I didn't mean... You have fight in you. You've taken quickly to the Muse's powers. It's possible that she saw the potential. So yes, I'll help you. If, however, this has all been a desperate deception... Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. I like this better than fighting with you. Way better. Helping you rather than wanting you dead, you mean? You seem like a woman who gets what she wants. These days, yes. Then I'd really rather have you on my side. Wise choice. What should I do while you're formulating? I don't like sitting on my hands. Yeah, I've noticed. If you wish to keep busy, burn down the city. Start a revolution. Become a terror the likes of which mortals only dream. That sounds a bit extreme. Really? No, Grace. Go oh, okay. Home. Be patient. When you see me next, I'll have a better idea of what to do. Ah, hey, Freddy. Freddy. Have, have you been waiting up this whole time? Uh, uh, yeah? A goat man sends you off into the night. Your life is on the line. And I'm gonna, what, sleep? What if you were taken prisoner? Kept in a cave by a cyclops? Or, I don't know, turned into a tree? I was worried sick. Everybody keeps talking about the tree. Um, all right. I think I'm gonna stop here for the night. Uh, got any suggestions for something to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.